I'll try and keep it brief. So we know that um, studies show that gender diversity on boards, for example, is a great predictor of long-term value creation and lower stock price volatility. We also know that women as investors on average tend to stay the course. They're less likely to be caught up in this idea of riding the market and their investor investments are more lucrative and pay higher dividends. We also know that a lot of women are saying that we want jargon-free language in the information that banks are giving us. They want education about budgeting and how money works. Um, easy to understand information about retirement savings. We know that women are retiring with significantly less in their retirement savings. And we also know that a lot of women, 72% said that they want education in schools about money and finance. And this is really interesting to me because we also know that women are responsible for at least 80% of all purchasing decisions. So on the one hand, we have huge economic power. And on the other hand, we are very much disadvantaged in terms of access to financial knowledge and information. And actually, men are significantly more confident in their perceived knowledge of KiwiSaver. However, in reality, they don't know any more than women. Um, the other thing that we discovered too is that women value ethical investing. So on average, they're 10% more likely than men to switch providers if their funds don't actually deliver um, and align with their own values. And taking a step outside KiwiSaver and professional women investors, we know that um, currently, so far this year, US equities all women or predominantly women investment teams have outperformed male portfolio teams. And we also know that hedge funds run by women have consistently outperformed over one year, three years, five years. You pick a year, they've outperformed. Women investors tend to have a more nuanced attitude to risk, take on less risk, but more intelligent risk. So that's um, right. I would think they know how to shop. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's kind of like you're looking for the bargains you know you're yeah. not going to buy full price you know that's what I say to people who are like I don't understand shares I'm like do you know how to shop and they're like yeah I'm like it's the same thing yeah there was a big report that came out recently or maybe two or three years ago in Australia that said that women were retiring into poverty so men were getting on average about half a million dollars and women were retiring with about 124,000 and what we did was help create uh, something called super super which is almost like a flybys so instead of every time you go shopping um, instead of getting kind of like the flybys points that sort of accumulate and possibly no one uses, um, that money goes directly into your retirement savings. And again, going back to our KiwiSaver research, you know, the top five features that women are looking for is absolutely number one, clear communication. They do want to see good investment performance. Um, easy access, which I think also links back in with clear communication. Um, competitive fees and then ethical investing. So look, there's the, the signposts or the markers. And so if you're building product wrapped around those, those five key issues, um, you, you potentially could have a very um, successful um, business model there. Across our research, we, find, we found that women want five things really from any brand or organization, and that is respect, um, demonstrating value for money, time if you can make more time i'm not quite sure how you do that but if you can also appreciate that women mums on average have 10 minutes of me time a day we really really want to feel loved and that we are important to you as customers and most importantly is this idea of connection and i think one of the challenges there is that you know 90 percent of the industry are males and so you know that all step immediately you've got a oh jeepers you know, it's harder to understand that market. It's like, you know, if you're an older person trying to understand the younger people. So if you've got 90% of the, the population of males, it's always going to be that bit harder for them to understand, communicate, tap in to that part. I think, too, if we think creatively about the way we teach, you know, a range of subjects, you could actually introduce, finance, you know, basic financial literacy, budgeting, all that in those topics. You know, ranging from the social sciences through to obviously the maths and that, but there's a whole, you know, it, it touches a whole lot of other subjects that our children are learning at school. So, mm. yeah, a bit more creativity there. And I think we would 
do a lot. So whilst it would be great to have this in schools, I do think there's a real opportunity to really engage with women um, to really boost their financial wellness mm. and their financial literacy so that they can also, you know, put, have that in their kid day to be able to kind of teach the next generation as well. So I think there's something in there yeah. also. Thank you. So um, good question from Erin, uh, asking about saying many younger Wahine are very keen to get involved in an investment, but don't know where to start. So do you think we should be teaching uh, investment basics at school or how do you feel about uh, an induction sort of process, especially for young women? Um, well, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, we've, with the Gender Justice Collective, we've just literally closed off our survey and 72% of respondents uh, said that education in schools around finance and money was what they desperately wanted. And also education around budgeting and how money works was 77%. So to me, it's a kind of a no-brainer. It's kind of like, how do we make sure that not only women, but also, you know, the whole of our, our younger generation understand this. And I think, you know, organizations like Sharesies who've made it very accessible, um, a really great step in that direction. Thank you. And uh, good to, uh, good to have, have these references and, and the mention of Sharesies, which is obviously one of the uh, more interesting entrants to the market mm. in recent years, uh, women, uh, entrepreneurs driving that business and uh, great to see uh, some creativity in the financial markets. Um, as you say, Angela, it's a huge opportunity uh, across the board and there's so much uh, that can be done.